easy way to park. Just go straight in. What's up, y'all? Y'all, I'm tired. I got bags in mine. But you gotta go up here to this hospital to see my mother. And oh, she's still in the hospital, y'all. <sighs> and unfortunately, I might have to go up, come up here and kick somebody's ass. Because <laughs> from what my sister, my sister works at the hospital, but she works in the cafeteria. She's been there for four years. And I don't know if this is a nurse there. I don't know if she's new or what. I don't think she is, but I don't know for sure. But from what everybody is saying that she's been mistreating my mother but my mother is not the only patient she mistreats. And she actually told my mother that she, um, she doesn't um, put, she, she's not into her job, basically. Um, and that's not something you tell a patient that you're not, you're not, um, what was the word she used again? She don't care? No, not that she don't care. She put, um, basically that's what she was saying, but. Put your seatbelt on back. Oh, but she, she, hold on, hold this a minute. Thank you. Basically, she told my mother that she don't, she, she don't care about her job. Like, you know, and you're not going to be working on my mother but stating stating to her that you could care less about that job to stand in third because if you're telling my mother that you aren't no that's what she said i'm not invested in this job that's what she said i'm not invested in this job so if you're sitting there telling your patients that you're not invested then that means you could care less about your job or them basically you're there you're just there for a paycheck you're not you didn't take this job because you care about people and you want to help people you basically took this job because of the money so with that being said you're not going to be working on my mother if you are if you're telling her flat out that you could care less you know what i'm saying so meaning that you're going to come to work with this attitude like you don't care for the patients you're there to, you're there, just there to get your check and go home so that means that the care that the patients are getting is not going to be good. And my mother was complaining. This lady stuck her four times and no blood. didn't even draw blood. So she stick her for. And then, then when my sister asked her, why did you stick her? She told, told him, telling my sister, not me. That wasn't me. That wasn't me. So the, the, the um, other patient that's in my mother's room with her told my sister, she was like, yeah, she stuck your mother four times and um, your mother, she's arguing with your mother, being smart mouth with your mother and this, that, and the third. So now this is what the, the woman in the other bed was telling my mother. And I mean, telling my sister. And this woman oh, he did. He is, is um, she's, not a, she's not young, but she's not old. She's like in her early forties. And she's sitting there telling my sister, somebody needs to be up here with your mother because this lady, was being very disrespectful, very mean to your mother. And I'm sitting here listening to how she was talking to your mother and it's being true. disrespectful yeah, yeah. and stuff like that. So my sister has to get back to work. So she called me and she was like, you know, are you coming up there today? And I said, yeah, I'm coming up there. So she telling me all this. She said, cause I don't want to lose my job. She said, because if I, if I have to approach this lady, oh, I'm going to lose part. my job. But she did tell she did go to hospital administrator and she told told them about the lady and the person at the hospital administrator said that yeah she's they've had plenty of complaints about the same woman she came from another hospital and i think what they're doing is they're rotating her around because she's been there's been so many complaints about her at other hospitals that instead of firing her they're just um, placing her somewhere else but everybody is having the same complaints about her you know so I'm going up here 
and um, you know, I don't. Everybody know, you know, yeah, you don't play song. when it. Huh? Everybody knows when it comes to a, your mother, you don't play with nobody's mother, and you damn sure ain't gonna play with mine. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want to. I don't want to have to come up here and hurt nobody, y'all, because I'm a. I'm such a nice person, and but I can turn up a hundred if I have to. Believe me when I Easy. tell you. Easy. But I don't like to go there. Because, when you mess on people's moms. Yeah, I don't like to go there because that's not me. It can be. But on average, I'm a very nice person. I get along with everybody. I love to get along with people and stuff like that. But you can't push my buttons to the point where it gets me crazy because once I start I'm not gonna stop until till the police come. I'm tell you being I'm just being a hundred percent with y'all. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to go there, but you're not gonna be dis uh, disrespecting my mother. She's sick and my mother's so sweet. Everybody at the hospital loves my mother and says she's such a sweet lady. Then they call her their baby. This is my baby right here and so there's no reason for anybody to be acting um, disrespectful and treating my mother any kind of way because she is a very she's very cooperative she's very easygoing she's a very sweet woman so there's no reason for anybody to be disrespectful to her or treating her um, disrespectful and I'm not I'm not having it's let me tell you something it's a lot of us in my family it's a lot of us from the kids to the grandkids even friends and family I mean well friends in the family that love my mother and she's she's the matriarch of the family because my grandmother passed all my aunts passed away and my mother is the last one and we don't play about her we do not play about her so I'm gonna go up here I don't had you know my sister then had um a few family members in the family call told my yo we gotta go up there do we gotta go up there but I'm going up Why are there. Why you blocking traffic? And I'm going to see, <laughs> and, and I'm going to see what's going on. And uh, if it got to get crazy, it's got to get crazy. But I'm hoping that it don't. Yeah, come. I'm hoping that it don't come to that. But anyway, I'm doing? gonna, I'm gonna. Um, my face is greasy as all hog. Get up. I'm I gonna inform y'all of what's going on with my mother after a minute. We on our way up there now. We driving. <sighs> Hopefully this won't get crazy, y'all. But if it does, it is what it is. I don't listen. It's one thing, one thing's for sure, and two things for certain. I will go to jail for my mother. I will go to jail for my kids, and even even this one, depending on the situation. <laughs> Ain't nobody going to jail. But I'm just saying, if if that's what it comes down to to protect my family, then that's what it comes down to. Nice. I'm not, you know, it's it is what it is. You know, I got I got police uh, uh, officers in my family, so it don't matter. It is what it is. But uh, like I said, I'm gonna inform y'all what's going on a little later. You know, my husband is driving like a bat out of hell trying to get to the hospital, so. I, I got to focus. <laughs> nah, he the one driving, I'm but I the one got to focus. Alright, y'all. I'll hit y'all up in a minute. <laughs>